Hello everybody, it's TV, and today's gonna be an anime review on Hitsugi no Chaika. Now, this series, I wanna tell you, it's a good series, but it's not the best series of this anime season. It definitely has its merits, and it's definitely an entertaining series, but one thing I noticed from this episode was the unique tone of talking that our main female character Chaika was talking in. She kept, like, talking directly, like, let's say she wanted something, she says, food. Now, she wouldn't, like, put, like, I want food now. She would just put the direct words in a sentence. It's really weird the way she was actually speaking in this entire episode. It adds a different type of personality to her character, which is very unique. And I, I could say I like her character so far, but I don't know exactly how this series from this first episode is going to really go. And an interesting revelation at the end. We find out that Chaika is technically already dead. I mean, it's pretty obvious, actually, if you think about it. She's carrying around a freaking coffin, and she's, like, the coffin princess. So, I mean, it's kind of obvious she's dead, but I wonder what led up to these points. That leaves a little bit of mystery to this first episode and exactly where the plot will take. Hopefully we find out some character backstory very soon on her. We have two main characters that introduce this episode. We have Toru and we have Chaika. Now, it's pretty interesting. Pretty much we got, like, a saboteur. They're, they, like, reinforce themselves with different powers. So, like, for instance, our main male character Toru reinforces himself with, like, iron blood and fights a freaking unicorn. An evil freaking unicorn. He starts freaking, like, stabbing the unicorn. It's like, what the freaking hell? Why stab a cute innocent unicorn that just wants to rip your face off. That's really messed up. You don't stab a unicorn. They have rainbows. So, honestly, kidding aside and jokes, I, I will say this was a good episode. It is a very, I guess, average series in my opinion. I'm not saying this anime series is bad, but it feels average compared to all the stuff we've seen from this anime season. The animation quality is beautiful. I'm not going to doubt it there. The animation quality is very good. It's a little bit above average from this anime season, and I feel like I need to actually commend it on that. The music now, I really didn't notice the music very much in the middle of the actual episode. I mean, I was mainly just trying to figure out why our main female character is talking like she did and figure out more about the world and atmosphere that's being built up in this series. There's a lot of mystery that this first episode really does, and there's a lot of questions that are brought up. Hopefully, uh, some of the actual storytelling will be shed light on in the next episode. I, I like the way the cliffhanger ended on this episode. It makes me in tune to want to see the next episode, but like I said, I don't know exactly how this series is going to turn out. I don't know if it's going to be a good series. I don't know if it's going to be a bad series. It does have a promising plot, though. I'm not gonna down it, so I, I just have to wait and see. There's not much more I can really talk about this, because it was mainly just trying to set up the characters, and just try to get the personalities known to the audience, and that's what I think they accomplished. I don't know exactly how I feel about the main female character, like I said earlier, but we'll just have to see. I'll see if her character grows on me or not, but she definitely is a Moe type quality cute character. I love the way she's freaking anime. She's really cute. And so, we also have the standard cliche between the brother and sister, where the sister is just being very forceful to the brother, trying to kill him and stuff, and it seems like they're kind of in a romance relationship between each other. We see that a lot in other anime. It's just, it's, I don't know how I feel about also about that one. So, tell me your thoughts on this episode, everybody. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you hate this episode? Do you feel like this series is going to be very good? Do you think this series is going to be an average series? Do you think this series is going to work itself up to a badass plot? Let me know in the comments below. Everybody, I love you so much. Chibi out.